Okay, so today I'm going to share uh, some work on mushroom and ergo signing. Yeah. Okay, so basically we are talking about uh, how to promote healthy brain aging and uh, dietary factors and the uh, diet derived by anti compounds are uh, among the candidates we have been working on. Okay, in Singapore, I have done a study to look at mushrooms and mild cognitive impairment. So from this cohort, I call, I established called Diet and Healthy Aging Study. We collect the data, information on the consumption of six types of mushrooms, so golden mushroom, oyster mushroom, shiitake mushroom, white butter mushroom, dried mushroom, and candy mushroom. Yeah, it's a butter mushroom in Singapore city. So we collected data on the common mushroom consumption in Singapore, and we tried to look at how mushroom consumption is related to cognitive impairment. Okay, this is the result. So mushroom consumption and mild cognitive impairment, if you are not familiar with cognition in old age, mild cognitive impairment is the stage between normal aging, and dementia. Okay, we, let's look at uh, the result. This odds ratio at 95% confidence interval and the p-value. So compare with those who consume less than portion of week mushroom, those who consume one to two portions of week have 0 0.58. We can interpret 42% reduced odds of having MCI. And for those who can feel more than two portions a week, meaning three portions or more, they have 57% reduced the odds of having mild cognitive impairment. So one portion is about 150 grams. So you can estimate. And uh, the relationship is statistically significant. So the relationship we further assess potential dose-dependent relationship. And then we have a very nice result here. The more mushrooms you consume, the less odds of having mild tongue impairment. So it's, a, it's not really have a plantar somewhere or a, a flowing effect. So we can see the more you consume, the better. So why mushroom is good? Why mushroom is good? It's uh, not easy to answer the question why mushroom is good because mushroom contains thousands of uh, nutrients, right? So you have a uh, mushroom contains vitamin C, vitamin D, and so on, and also fiber. So, but based on other research, I work with Professor Bernhard Henriel and Dr. Irving Chia. We believe the unique compound in mushroom called agrocyanin is the answer. And we are working on clinical trial to try to assess that. Let me show you more. Okay, anyway, we are in the news, yeah. Ah, the street time, yeah. So eating mushroom is slow mental decline. So I read that eating mushrooms is slow mental decline, but I don't know how to cook mushrooms. So I just bought several cream of mushroom soup cats. Okay, it's not a good idea, I guess. Uh, consuming fresh mushroom is always the uh, advice from the other scientist. Yeah, so eating mushroom. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's a typical kind of uh, uh, a way to educate the public. Yeah. Okay. What's the agusanin? So we believe agusanin and at least partially contribute to the cognitive benefit. And then this unique natural compound called agosanin in mushroom, because it's primarily from mushroom. If you look at the values here, for sepsis, they are 1 to 1,800, 12.38 microgram per gram dry weight, 1,800 and 1,812, remember that. And then even 
brown mushroom, the lowest concentration is 104. But other fruit or spices or, or vegetables have very low, very low mushroom. You can see that, right? So all below 10. So even the lowest uh, agrocyanin containing mushroom have a 10 times higher, at least 10 times higher agrocyanin than any other fruits and vegetable and green and bean and spices. And remember, it's a step pista. The king oyster, not too bad, right? Yeah. So what agrocyanin can benefit from? Because the animal studies done by Professor Barry Honeywell and Dr. Evan Cha have shown various benefits of uh, agrocyanin, as I'll show you later. And uh, in famous study, we work together, we can see that the correlation between uh, whole blood agrocyanin to monthly mushroom consumption by subject. So we can see a linear association between the more you consume, the higher the blood level of uh, agrocyanin. And the level of agrocyanin in whole blood of MCI subject is much lower, is lower than that of age match control. So likely agrocyanin contribute to the cognitive benefits of eating mushroom. So that's the story. So next time I'm going to talk about media chain this right, MCT and coconut oil. Yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you like my theory of, uh, I would say public education program to inform the public of the research findings, research findings in my lab and uh, also in our center in the US. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.